Hoping to keep it 100 Oklahoma High School Sports on this Wednesday. I mean, Wednesday evening as we get ready for zero week of high school football. I'm with my man RT and my man Big E. And I'm telling you right now, it's Wednesday night. And with 48 hours are out before we have our first high school game. Some big time matchups all the way from 6A all the way down to the 2A. So, folks, I'd like to ask you to join us as we get ready for football season. How you guys doing this evening? Doing good, doing good. How are you? You got to get pumped up, RT. It's football season. One more time. And that'll get me going. It's football season. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Week zero. Week Week zero. zero. Here we go, fellas. It's week zero. But, hey, before we get into that, we got some some pretty cool interviews tonight. We got Ronnie Welch. Ronnie Wassel. Ronnie Wassel. I'm sorry. Ronnie Wassel. As he's trying to call me right now as we're doing the show. Ronnie, we'll call you. You don't call us. We call you. We'll let him know. We'll call him back in a second. But, folks, I tell you, we got some pretty good interviews tonight. We have Ronnie Walsall, uh, the, the the dad of the quarterback, the man that steal himself man out, of, out, of, out of Choctaw, Oklahoma, uh, home of the Yellow Jackets. Go stand it. Go stand it. Trying to sting somebody. But they got to go against that Dell City All-American tough defense with Jaden Foreman and Kanigel. A couple guys that's already committed to some D1 schools. I tell you, it's going to be a great offense against a great defense. And Archie's favorite word, defense does what? Win championships. Defense do what? Wins championships. Championships. But I tell you, folks, we got some great matchups, though. I can't, I, I, I'm excited about what's going on this week, Zero Man. Uh, some good no, snot bubble hitting. Yeah. Uh, football going on, man. Right. I hope the weather's kind of cool. It is. Uh, it's been nice these right. last couple That's of days. It's football weather. It's football weather. It's telling yeah. you right now, it's football weather. Pretty soon we'll be having jackets on. As you can see tonight, we're all in uniform tonight because it's week zero, folks. It's game time. We, it's game time. Yeah. Ain't no taking nothing back. But before we get started, I got to ask my guys, how y'all doing? Doing good, doing good. Just started my final semester until I'll have my associate's degree. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think about that. By the end of the year, I'll have my first college degree. That's awesome. First man. of many, hopefully, hopefully. First of many. First okay. of many. So uh, I'm going to try to go get three of them. Three okay. of them things. So, hey, you go uh, do your thing, Big D. That's what we're talking about, baby. It's about doing your thing, man. Yeah. That's what piece. it's all about, man. Yeah. Hey, you, you, you go get hey you, you go start a big time show, yeah. and me and RT can be your guests on the Man, show. Man, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, yeah. we're going to keep this rolling, and as long as uh, the low, good Lord let me keep rolling. Yeah. You know, you can see all that gray in me. Right. But I'm going to kind of shave something off and try to look younger again. Why don't you just let it get, like, real Wolfman style? No, I can't do that. Can't do that? No, I can't do that. Okay. I don't think HR Jessica go for that. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I give her a little bit of, you know, she, hey, you know, she calls the shots. Coach, uh, HR Jessica, she does yeah. a lot. The little things you haven't seen. Yeah. You know, we, we kicked off the show with uh, the Coach Jones show, uh, the second season of doing it. Uh, man, I think that's awesome. I like that, man. Yeah. You, you know I, what, man? I, I would like to see you be able to do that with just not only that school, but a few more others. You know what? You you must be talking to HR Jessica. Yeah. Because that's exactly what she said I was okay. driving today. She yeah. said, I'd like to see you do a couple more schools. But, hell, I'm trying to reach out to you, Coach Blink. Yeah. I've been putting yourself on Keep It 100 yeah. page. Yeah. I like Coach Blink. You know why? Great atmosphere, great no, support. because he, he keeps it. 100. 100. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. He ain't faking the phone. Not sometimes. Not sometimes. He's all the time. the time. 100%. 100%. 100%. And guess yeah. what? When we'll you see. do that, people want to come play for you. But okay. I tell you, though, man, we got, like I said, we got some great matchups. And we'll start off at 6A, and we'll let E go. And then uh, I know Ronnie want to do some pick him. So we'll we'll save a couple. Not actually, we'll save a couple games for Ronnie. We won't even do this right now. Okay. But we'll, we'll talk about some of the big games, though, in 6A big. You yeah. got Bigs being a Wasi. Uh, a Wasi. <laughs> That's how I mean, Bigsby, hey, you did that pretty good. Like was that, that your cartoon? This was that cartoon back in the day. Yeah, yeah. okay, but okay. You got Bigsby and Owasi. I can't even say it. Yeah, Owasi. 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 Here we go. Owasi. Here we go. You got Bigsby and Owasi. You got Muskogee and Enid, uh, which I think Muskogee is one of the best teams around right now. Uh, we got to see a little bit of film on them. Yeah. They got a great offensive line. I'm yep. telling you, they're going to surprise some people. Yes, they hey, are. Hey, you got to watch out for this team, Southmore. You know why you got to watch out for Southmore? Why is that? Because what they did last week in the scrimmage. What they do? They took Carl Albert to a 7 7. I mean, I know it's a scrimmage. Yeah. But Carl Albert is supposed to be a big powerhouse. Yeah. In 5A. Uh huh. With a bunch of, with a bunch of big time names. And, you know, Southmore's coming off just winning two games and. Uh, maybe some seasons. It, 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 maybe no games in some seasons. Yeah. You know, I mean, the last few years, they might have won, what, two games? Well, guess what? You got a new coach. They got them. Got them got pumped up? Yeah. 
But I, I'm just saying, if, if you if you was to go to that scrimmage... So basically you're saying that because they only won one game in the last two years. Mm-hmm. Carl Albert should have did a little bit better. I think Carl Albert should I mean, anytime you let an underdog stay in the game, Grant, is a scrimmage, it gives other people hope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the Quita, you know, they, 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 they got to drive up to Quita this week. Yeah, because... And we're going to drive something hot. Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> I do be forgetting sometimes. He, 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 he ain't like he got a mind like me, and I'm a 50 yeah. year old man, and yeah. he's he 20 years old. He forgets more than me. But what I'm saying, though, you got Kyle Albert with a bunch of big time X Robinson, the Quazy. Um, people say he put on the show last week. I think he secured a cutie, but. Reed? Yeah, Reed. Yeah, yeah, because I, he. He, he's able to uh, run and pass. Um, you know, Cash can sling it, but I have not. Me personally, don't be mad at me. Me personally, I haven't seen uh, Cash really get in there and uh, run the ball. And as you know, Carl Albert has always been run first. Oh, yeah, yeah, and but- with Reed, you have the option. Like, uh, if you're going to come rush me, he is one of the fastest kids yeah. out there. So he's going to take off on you. Yeah, so, uh, so that kind of tells me right now it- – I got a couple of texts, man, and, and and I keep the show 100 because I love everybody. You know, I right. love Coach Dunn. You know, I mean, well, that's the name of the show. We're going to keep it 100. Country. But you know what I'm saying? People called me last week and said, Tony, you faking the funk. That's what you're you talking about. Yeah. They said, you over, you over hyping CA. Yeah. I said, what do you mean? They said, man, they took sign. I didn't get to go. And I was planning on going, but I went to my little league game. By right. the time I got home, I said, man, I'm just going to go to the house. Uh-huh. Um, and so I didn't get to go watch him play, but I wish I would have got to because mm-hmm. They said sophomore kind of put on a little bit of show, man. Okay. And they was dancing with the stars. Oh. And, and, and so that, that, that gives other people, that gives other people, man, I got everybody trying to call me. <laughs> everybody trying to reach out to yeah. me. Yeah. But, I, but I, what I'm saying is that it, it, it gives you a little bit of sophomore, a little bit of hope because a team that didn't win no games in the last few years lost their coach, a great coach that, that played NFL football and played at OU. And, and, and now, you know, they go get a new coach. And, and I think they ended up with like 35 kids at the end of the season. So I mean that's that's a big lift if you if you are sophomore like man we can compete. Well, it, uh, just to give you a little bit of history, a lot of times in the beginning of the season, especially in scrimmages and non district games, yes sir. A lot of times, Carl Albert gives everyone an opportunity to display what they can and cannot do to make sure that come district time they have the right people in the right place. I, I hear what you're saying, Carl. I mean uh, RT, because I know there's been a you know there's been probably about six seven years eight years maybe a little longer. Uh, with C.B. Thompson was there, and, and right, Dylan Ward, 2012, yeah, 2013, yeah. Yeah. and that team was five and five, and ended up winning the state championship. Yeah. So I know scrimmage don't mean a lot, but I'm just saying when you when you got all this hype, right, and, and right. you got all these great guys, X, you know, X Robinson, the tailback, you mm-hmm. know, Reed the Quazy, then you got Tayshawn, then mm-hmm. you got uh, the Washington kid, yep. then you get the new kid uh, that that moved in. Uh, Which one? Uh, I, I think the OSC. Oh, the tight good. end, the tight end, Caleb Cornell. Yeah, Caleb Cornell. The Cal- kid was in the top hundred. Um, you know, you get all these kids that move in, and 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 it's already been there, and you saw, hey, what they got, what they did last year, making it to the semifinals and, and barely losing, and you come back and you kind of reload the chamber. You didn't lose no bullets; you added more bullets to it, and, and then you, you know you come to a seven-seven ball game. So um, I know Don and, and 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 Coach Corley and Coach Johnson and Coach Cam and all the coaches sat down on Sunday and said, scratched their head and said, hey, we got to get this fixed because with that kind of coaching staff. With that much t- uh, talent and with that much experience on that staff, that they gonna get things figured out. They they had a few that were down, hit with the little injuries here and there. Um, they and since then they they had a few to come back, but then they also a few got hurt. So it, I I think until uh, any team is a hundred percent healthy, you're gonna see uh, rooms uh, some room for improvement, areas of opportunity. Um, but it's just always hard to uh, count out the Titans. I, I do believe this year um, depth will uh, definitely be a factor. Yes, sir. If anyone is sick, injured, ineligible, or whatever it may be, it may make um, things a little bit tough for them. But uh, they always are good at making adjustments. Well, I mean, like I said, you'll see. Like I said, they open up this Friday night against Guida. It'll be a big test. Rematch from the rematch quarterfinals. The quarterfinals, and you will get the chance to talk to Mr. Dobbins, quick, uh, quick feet himself. Uh, that played over at Carl Albert and trained Tulsa. a lot of yeah I mean yeah and played at Tulsa University and also uh, you know trained Mason Ford. Uh, we'll get a chance to talk to Mason Ford. Uh, there was a video that was kind of put out the other day uh, from a CA player man, and I, I think he's asking 
asking uh, Mr. Mason Ford, does he want that smoke? But I, I think Mason put something together himself. And he going to come back with the smoke. And that's what I like, baby. I like a little trash talking. If you ain't talking trash, man, you shouldn't be playing football. You should just go sit in the, in, in the church on Sunday and be quiet and sit there and be numb and put it's, a mouthpiece it's, in it's, mouth. it's all within fun. Yeah. Um, both of the kids are great athletes. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. I've only seen uh, Mason from afar from the stands. And, of course, you know, last year with the interviews. But I've been around Tayshawn ever since he was uh, at Steed Elementary. And, you know, he, he originally he was all about basketball. Yeah, in yeah. his freshman year, I kept telling everybody, no, that right there is a D1 player. I even told you, you that. You told me like, that. Man, you told me that. Kid. He did. I'm kidding. I, I'm not exaggerating. He's going to come and knock the you-know-what out of you. Like, the kid can go. Well, you told me at one point in time that he'll hit you so hard. Your, your, your his, airbag will come airbag out of your car. So I, I'm trying not to be close to him because I really don't want to <laughs> have my car towed. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. But, folks, we're going to move on. Uh, e, you got anything to add to that? Because you're over there chilling. Uh, I honestly don't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll just, just let y'all do your thing for a minute. He forgot. <laughs> yeah. What team talking about again? <laughs> that's what we do here for folks. I like to say, man, I'm going to give a shout out to 918, man. I, I like oh, watching man. those guys' stuff, man. They're yeah. doing big things. Guys, I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not a hater. I'm a motivator because I'm telling uh, you, when you're doing big things, man, uh, it's good to see people doing that on the side of the state. And we try to do the same thing on this side of the state, but people do so much hating on us instead of joining us. And uh, we want to give Andy Collier a shout out for what he's got going with his new little uh, radio station on Saturday mornings. Uh, when you get up and get your bowl of cereal and Frosted Flakes, tune in to Andy's show. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, you know, it's called, it's going to help the Middale kids and get their names out there, along with the Coach Jones show and what we do over here. So, uh, congratulations to him. Kudos. And like I said, uh, like I told him, I love a little friendly competition because we always going to keep it 100 over here. It's a competition? Nah, it's friendly competition, though. We call it friendly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> kind of like rolling dice at Rose State. <laughs> you didn't roll dice at Rose State? No, oh, I ain't never heard of that. You ain't having fun then. But no. we're going to move on, though, to Moore and Edmund, and Edmund Memorial. Uh, I think, you know, Moore got a new coach with, you know, with Coach uh, Brian coming over from the Yellow Jackets. Uh, uh, he went over to Scrimmage Dale City and kind of got beat up uh, by a smaller 5A team. And I think Moore has a great quarterback, Wolf, and then a, and a running back, a receiver, and CJ. Uh, so I really thought Moore would be a little bit tougher with what they got going. But I, I, I don't I don't know if they got it, you know, yet. So uh, I think Coach uh, Coach Coach Brian to get them turned around. But I think right now they should win that opening game against Edma Memorial because if there's a team that's probably bad in six A, big is Edma Memorial. You guys have a hell of a basketball and track, but uh, uh, football is still climbing the roof. Uh, it'll, it'll take a while for them to get there. Then moving on to Westmore and uh, Union, uh, Zoe got a pretty uh, good size offensive line. Uh, Union's going to be tough. But uh, if, Joe, if Zoe can kind of get himself and, and, and try to make a mark, this will be the game that he can let people know that Westmore is back. He has the offensive size line. He has a running back, probably one of the best backs in the state. Um, I think quarterback still kind of shaky, shaky. But when you got a good back like that, he can touch the ball 20 to 25 times a game and score you some points. I think you're going to be fine. Uh, you're looking at Jinx and Devin Santa Fe. That's a good game. Uh, rematch for the uh, championship a couple years ago. Uh, uh, you're going to find out with Jinx is number one. Uh, but Jinx got somebody knocking on their door, and that's Bigsby because Bigsby's coming. But uh, uh, Edmund Santa Fe still got a couple players, but I don't know if they're going to be uh, up, uh, up to par to come, come come battle Jinx. Even if it's in their backyard, I think I waited that game last year. I won't get a chance to make it this year because I'll be over there watching that Chata, Dell City game, and then like, keeping my ears plugged into the Kawita and uh, 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 Carl game. So, um, what time we got, Gus, before we, we bring Ronnie on? Uh, I think I think we're just about out of time until we can bring Ronnie well, on. I think we should go ahead and bring let's, him let's on. Let's lock out 682 real quick because it, it ain't got that many, and then we can go from okay. there. Um, you got the Chata Dell City game that everybody's been waiting for for a year now. It finally happens, man. You know, uh, I think Chata had a little scary yesterday. Uh, I don't know. They had boys in the hood uh, going yeah. on out there, man. but uh, I'm just saying, uh, you know, somebody brought a gun, and that's a scary sight, man. I mean, if you just watched the news the other day, you had a guy driving around with his boat shooting at cops. I just tell you, this world is coming crazy, man. Keep your yeah. baby safe and, and tell them you love them every day because you never know, man. And I mean, I think that's a scary sight over at Choctaw. Uh, I know uh, the coaches and, and, and the kids are probably kind of freaked out. Uh, if my kids were there, I'd be kind of freaked out. And you got some knucklehead and, and his daughter running around with a gun. I don't know what the situation is. I really don't care. The good thing um, is those coaches reacted very quickly and did the right thing and secured it and locked it down. That's good yep, stuff, absolutely. though, man. I mean, that's what happens. You got a good coaching staff, and those guys they didn't try to play the hero. They just kind of defused the problem and, and moved on and let the next person go. Then you got Guthrie and Ponca City. 
I think Guthrie is, is Guthrie is to sleep. Um, Don't sleep uh, on him. I, I will say, though, I did hear that Guthrie lost two freshmen that transferred out and, and made their way to the Yellow Jackets town, uh, a quarterback and a, and a receiver. And I that's, think that's the new trend, though, seriously. Uh, everybody just pack up and move? Everybody's just moving. Um, several schools uh, got uh, new kids that just, you know, just showing up. Uh, I mean, we could just say, hey, Bobby, we moving. Is that what you do? I don't know, or you just kind of, you know, you 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 network and you see who's the AD or you know athletic director, make a phone call and they get people in for you. Well, I, I just think, like I said, I mean, it's kind of long move from Guthrie, to, from Guthrie to to Chata. Chata. That's a long yeah. move, man. I mean, that's a uh, that's probably about a forty five minute move. I mean, I mean, maybe he knew somebody, maybe his cousin went there, but uh, they got a good little quarterback, in which you know they had a good little quarterback in the ninth grade team. So uh, they say right there is a little friendly battle. So. Uh, uh, good luck to those kids that moved in. I think one of them, I think they're both, uh, one's a receiver and one's a QB. I know people are like, how the hell does he know? But that's what happens with me. I know everything. I know when your mama <laughs> was born before you knew she was born. But that's what we do over here. We keep it 100. But then you got Bishop McGinnis. Uh, I think they got one of the best backs in the state at 5A, um, you know, with Taffy. Uh, reached out to him the other day. Should have him on. Hopefully we can have him on before one of the big games. Uh, you got Putman City, you know, um, they're coming from uh, Big 6A, uh, coming down to 6A small. Um, they should be able to make a little bit of noise. Uh, you know, a couple times, you know, they had a couple kids a few years ago that, that could play. Uh, I mean, it's Public City. They're always going to have kids. So, uh, we'll see what they what they end up all about. Then you got Sand Springs, Sokopa. Uh Sand Springs, Springs, everybody kind of talked things, good things about them last week in the scrimmage. I think they, they banged against Jinx last week, and I don't think it was a murder. So, uh, I, I think that kind of works out good. But Sokopa's a team that... I tell people all the time, you know, kind of keep your uh, keep your eye on him because it, uh, some, some big things can happen. So uh, we should see how, how that all works out. Um, then you got Muskogee. We talked about Muskogee and Enid, um, and then you got Southmore and Puppet City North. So uh, we're going we're going we're going to take a quick 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 break real quick to one of our sponsors that helps us out a lot, Eric Sanford from Free JM. Uh, I know uh, Clutch Culture, Clutch Culture, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the clothing gear and the training they do. Uh, Appreciate them. And then, just like I said, for us to get up here and talk high school football and have a little bit of fun, uh, we're going to get to talk to uh, Ronnie himself, man. Uh, uh, Ronnie's a good guy. We should get a good laugh out of this. Then we'll bring on uh, the Quita uh, outstanding defensive back himself and receiver. And I guess they got to play running back, too, in a Vite magazine. And, and Mr. Foot Cleaning himself, Mr. Dobbins. I'm telling you, man, folks, if your kid is wrestling, basketball, tennis, golf, whatever, need to reach out to this man because he does amazing works but we'll be back after what after one of our sponsors keep it what 100 oklahoma Oklahoma high High school School sports Sports. right back Welcome back to Keep It 100, Oklahoma High School Sports. And on the phone, we have Mr. Ronnie Wassel, uh, father of Choctaw starting quarterback, Steel Wassel, the man of steel. Ronnie, how you doing this evening? I'm doing great, E. How are you guys? Doing great, doing great. You know, well, you, know you know, what we're doing over here. We're keeping it what? 100. <laughs> That's what we do, Ronnie. Hey, glad to have you on the show. I know me and you have done this show before, and it's back in, uh, we kind of did it on two phones, but now we kind of, you know, we kind of educated each other. I mean, We've educated each other on this panel and got a little bit more equipment uh, thanks to HR Jessica reaching out and then EJ helping us get it set up and Big E and his dad uh, getting this all going, man. It's, it's a pleasure to have you on the show, man. And uh, like you said, I know you're excited. Your son's senior year yep. uh, going out, trying to go out with a bang, man. You know, a three-year starter has done some amazing things. I mean, everybody is talking about him each week in and week out about, you know, high school football. I know he's planning on graduating after uh, – after the season and moving on to Akron. Um, so Ronnie, what, what, what's it been like man, on this journey? Man, it's, it's been, it's been great. Obviously there's ups and downs and it's a grind. Um, if you remember, you know, we, we talked on one of your original podcasts back two years ago in July. So it's, it's been a minute. Um, but it's, uh, as a parent, it's obviously very proud. Um, he's, he's worked very hard, 
Um, you know, it's obviously nervous. I mean, you've talked about it before. I mean, you obviously have amazing athletes as, as, as kids, but if you don't, if you don't get butterflies on game day, then you're doing something wrong. Um, I mean, you can keep it as cool as the other side of the pillow as, as you can, but if you, if you aren't a little bit nervous and excited and everything at the same time, then, then, you know, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be there. So no, it's, 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 it's a little bit, uh, sad at the same time too i mean it's been a long ride but people always say that it, 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 it moves really quick but it does his senior years you know it's it's hit me it's weird when it hits you every once in a while um you know not not driving them to practice or you know seeing you know the last game is coming up or the last season it'll it'll hit you on it's not just on friday nights when it hits you it's like a random tuesday at two o'clock yeah. when you start re- recollecting things so yeah no but i'm ready man friday is it it's it's time to get the pads on and throw the rock around. Yeah, I, I, I can feel it. I know me and RG both can feel it. We both had sons, you know. I mean, they graduated from high school, and uh, both is one of them played college, you know, either wrestling or football. His son has played at Southwest and then and made the journey to go play at Oklahoma State for two years. And I tell you, man, it, 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 it's tough because, you know, you talk about butterflies, and I understand that because I tell you, I think I get more, I get more nervous when Z's at the free throw line <laughs> when she's doing a layup or when she's doing a, a jump yeah. shot. Uh, because free throws, is, I tell her, that's easy money. Right. And, and it seems like everybody's watching you. When you because it's, if they, it's quiet. Right. And so everybody's yeah. watching it. So uh, I understand that, man. And, you know, like I said, I know your son has put the work in. Uh, he's a good-sized kid, man. You know, me and uh, Coach uh, Jones kind of talked about him this morning on the Coach Jones show. Uh, you know, I mean, he knows what he got some tasks this Friday night to try to slow that man down because Bigsby couldn't do it and, you know, Stillwater, you know, you guys knocked off Stillwater a couple of years ago, and uh, you knocked off some great teams, Booker T, you know, and, and so uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work, man. And, I mean, I know that a lot of that comes to you and Jill and, and Todd, you know, getting him to the places he need to be in the training and all that because, you know, a lot of times kids get to this high point and they kind of stop training. Uh, and, and, I, and I know that's a life, man. I, I know what my son went through. He redshirted this year, so he, he, he changed some things around. And then my daughter, uh, doesn't matter what, what time it is or how hot it is, she gets home from school and she goes and puts up about 50 jump shot. You know, some days yep. I'm like, man, you, you need to quit it. But, you know, but that's what you got to do to become the best. And, and I know he wants to be the best quarterback in the state and he's striving to be the best quarterback in the state and he wants to win a state championship. And so, um, like I said, enjoy this ride, man, because like I said, the only, they really, truly, when they walk into high school, they're really only guaranteed, you know, uh, you know, most kids don't start as a sophomore, but you know, they, they they're, 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 you know, they're sophomore, junior, senior. I mean, that's 10 games they play, so that's 30 games. Anything after 30 games, a bonus game. So enjoy this ride, man. I mean, have fun with it, man. Tell them you love them every time you get a chance because I'll tell you, when they go off to college, all the time you hear from them, they need some money and they want something to eat. <laughs> hey, man, yeah, that that's keeping it 100 real. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Uh, RTE, you got anything for money? Yes. Oh, oh, no, go ahead. You got it. All right, so, you know, being his dad and everything, growing up, when did you know that Steele had the ability for being able to pass the ball? How you? When did you know that Steele, you you knew that he could be a proficient quarterback one day? That's a good question. You know, obviously, I I played baseball. I didn't. I I quit football probably in seventh grade, like a lot of kids did um, back in the day out of Choctaw when we weren't so good, uh, unfortunately. But now I'm I'm a baseball guy. Went on to do that. You know, Papa Joe Miller. Yeah, is is the football, and he got you know still a football in his hands at an early age. You know, still is already he's always been a you know, pretty superior athlete, and obviously Jill with softball and basketball, um, you know, and jelly boxing and and everything else. He comes from you know a lineage of, of, of being an athlete, and and to be honest with you, in the early days of football, it was he, he used his legs a lot more, um, and you know. He, and juking and running and, and, and really through middle school, probably till about seventh, eighth grade, uh, you know, he had a you know, the walk off pass against Deer Creek in eighth grade in the championship game, which was which was pretty cool. But then uh really got uh knew that you know, from his arm from pitching, I always knew he had a strong arm. Um from a football perspective, he really got honed in when we started uh um, throwing with you know his 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 quarterback trainer Derek Rasmussen, and that was basically right before COVID started. So you know he he, he was an athlete before he was a true quarterback. So he was he was more of an athlete athlete before he was a passer. But I think that you know that that time 
um, it was really when it came around, you know, you know, his freshman into it, his freshman summer into his sophomore season. Yeah. That's big time. Big, big yeah, time. for sure. And then like, you know, it wasn't too far, too long ago, you know, when I was catching passes from him in practice, uh, when he was just a freshman, I mean, uh, you just look at the progress from the time that he was a freshman to now. I mean, I think I honestly think it's two completely different quarterbacks. He seems a lot more poised. He's a lot more um, in focus. He's a lot more uh, in tune and just polished. He's a polished quarterback, you know, uh, you know, just getting down to those little nitty uh, details, you know. Um, so, you know, you talked about uh, you mentioned Derek Rasmussen, but kind of talk more about um, what he does as a trainer and how, um, you know, how his involvement with Steele has made Steele the player that he is today. Yeah, and and, and you know Derek has had, has played football at quarterback at all at all the levels. And what what he does is he puts he really hones in on the the his quarterbacks that he trains individually, but he also puts them in real game situations. It's not a robotic training situation that some of those that are out there you know step back you know three-step drop and try to hit a tire or whatever he puts them in you know the drills that are done um are, are real live you know game speed off platform things at some perspective and then he he watches the film afterwards he studies all their game film and then every week he has a, a plan for those guys and you know he's he's trained a lot of the you know um over the years, there's been a little bit of void in Oklahoma from uh, quarterbacks getting D1 offers, you know, going back, you know, to, to Jason and, and Bradford and all of them. But just recently, it's been, you know, it's been Casey Thompson and, you know, um, and, 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 and Carson uh, out of Jones in Iowa. But, you know, the, the, what Derek's doing is, is really bringing the, these kids, these quarterbacks around to where, I mean, they, he trains now probably – 10 or 12 to have D1 offers already and, wow. you know, and started getting them from eighth grade up to now. There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. It starts beeping. If you can hear that beeping, we're getting another phone call at the moment, but we'll just oh, disregard okay. that. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, talking about Choctaw as a team, you know, uh, they lost a lot of seniors uh, this past year, a lot of contributors, especially on the O-line, um, you know, so what do you know about the O-line this, this upcoming year? And, uh, you know, how, well, how's their progress doing? Uh, I mean, specifically the O-line, but also amongst the whole team. Sure. Yeah. And, and, and that's been between all media that's covered, you know, covering Oklahoma high school sports. That's been the biggest, you know, question marks coming into Choctaw season is, is the young O-line and also the defensive backfield. Uh, there's, there was a big, um, uh, shake up of a lot of new coaches that came in and especially on the offensive line we're really excited about coach anthony coming in from north springs you know he's come in and did a lot of things uh new and different uh these young guys have come together and and i will also credit um coach t uh Tundra is you know in in the weight room he's put in a lot of things that are new to these guys and training there's I mean these kids are squatting and, and cleaning and jerking a ton and so they've gotten a lot stronger uh, than in the past and then coach Anthony has brought in all his experience and coach Mangum and coach Northrop uh, you know they've all you know chipped in on the on the off- offensive line uh, and the receivers also that, that that block but I think that's the main key and, and they've progressed tremendously from what I've seen in the spring to now and I'm excited and I think that they have the chance to be one of the better lines we've had in a long time because uh, we've in the past we've had some injuries that have really hurt us in the past couple of years but I think that this group is you know dedicated uh, they're deep uh, and, and and they're hungry and I think that uh, I've loved what uh, coach Anthony's has, has done and brought in I got a quick question, Ronnie. Uh, you know, you talked about all these new coaches, and, you know, in the last few years, you brought in different offensive coordinators. And, you know, it seemed like Steele's freshman year to his uh, sophomore year, you had Coach Stylet, uh that he moved on. Then you had uh, a new coach's junior year, and now going to his senior year, he has a different offensive coordinator. So what's that been like, you know, keep changing these offensive coordinator, um, you know, the plays and all that, the timing and all that, because uh, everything is kind of called a little bit of difference, or is it still kind of the same playbook? Or you kind of, I mean, is he kind of running, pretty much running the show? That's a good question. I think that the the basic offense has is been the same since Steele's been there. You know, it's been Corbin's 
Corbin's offense and then, you know, implemented and, and called by the different OCs. The good thing about this year is Coach Cook Garfield was with us last year um, with the offense, and now he is the official OC. So this will be the first year that there's been consistency on that side of the field and, and him and, and still really, really respects him. And they've uh, put it in good and, and created a, a pretty good great relationship and then the same thing on the defense uh you know we have a, a great new defensive coordinator that has came in coach clark you know he has worked with you know bixby in the past and then down in mckinney and in texas and come up here i think that that's invigorated a new new kind of energy and, and different tweaks um but uh the good thing is is that you know being a three-year starter and all in you know and actually back then you know, getting some time in a lot with his freshman year when, you know, your sons were there and he was there. You know, it's it's four years of, of knowing some of this playbook um, and, you know, and sometimes being able to call the things on their own or, or, or suggest certain things like, you know, Stillwater a couple of years ago um, where he was, you know, having to call a lot of things on the line uh, because of their zombie defense and such. But I think that the familiarity and the, and the comfort and it just allows – I think that Corbin's mentioned this in some of the articles. It allows them to add more to the playbook since, you know, not having to start over uh, and explain from day one. And, and like I said, Garfield has been a, a tremendous addition and, and, and still really respects him. And I think that they're going to do a lot of good things with that explosive offense. Hey, Ronnie, you, uh, you mentioned the offensive line is showing great improvement um, each day getting better and better. How do you think they're going to match up against the Dale City's defensive front? It's a good question because Dell City has you know some dogs on the defensive side, not just on the defensive line. They're big and they're quick, um, so it's going to be a challenge. I think that um, that'll be obviously a first litmus test, not only uh, the first game of the year, but it could have been a litmus test in the fourth or fifth game of the year because of how good Dell Del City's defense and defensive line is. You know, with Fordman and those guys and, and and Nigel and you know we've played with or against them. You know, a lot of their uh, defensive guys on center seven for the last three years, and then Nigel and you know Foreman going back in hoops forever. So there's a lot of tremendous athletes over there in respect for those. So I think that uh, we're going to have our hands full. Uh, I think that you know they'll they'll hold their own. Uh, I think that uh, one thing that we do have is you know our quarterback does have the the uh, ability to uh, escape pressure uh, in certain situations. That um, some of the things that you really can't coach or teach quarterbacks is his feel for the pocket and the escapability, keeping his eyes down the field and, and making people miss back there. Um, I think that he's, he's shown that even, you know, way back when to his sophomore year against Bixby and, and so on and so forth. So I think that uh, that's the, that's the good thing, but I, I don't know if he'll have to do that much as our offensive line continues to, to grow. And so we'll see, it's going to be, it's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be, that'll probably be the matchup of the night. Um, is in the trenches, I think, on both sides, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, and 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 I know I know it's your son, so people probably think it's a little bit biased, but I, too, just based on watching the film, think that's what uh, makes him stand out, more unique, for him to be able to be calm in those stressful situations and be able to move around. He has a lot of good wiggle to him to where you think the play is over, and most quarterbacks are either – throw it out or run out of bounds, but no, not him. He's from side to side looking for that open man until either someone tackles him or uh, the whistle is blown. So with that being said, with him being the captain of the team, the general of the team leading the team, um, you know as well as I do, most of the time, especially in media, when the team wins, the quarterback gets a lot of credit. When the team loses, the quarterback gets that credit as well. So while you're in the stands and you're, enjoying your son playing, you're cheering on the team, the Yellow Jackets, you want them to win it all. How often do you hear some of those not good comments in the stands as you're trying to concentrate and support your child? Oh, they, they, and that's a great point uh, because it, it happens. It's, it's happened since middle school. And, and to be honest with you, if y'all have ever come to the, um, the high school games, I watched the game from the visitor side and not because I knew that. I knew that. that. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I can't sit down. I pace and yeah. you know, our, our visitor side has that little walkway. So I followed the ball. I want to be where the line is exactly. the line of scrimmage. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that just comes with the territory and all sports to be honest with you. Sure. It, 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 it doesn't, it hasn't happened as much. And like you said, if, if, you know, sometimes he might throw four touchdowns, but, and, you know, 
may, people might be getting used to it, but if it's the one pick that he throws that people are then going to, you know, you'll hear people from the stands do it. And that's their right. Um, it, it, you know, you can't control everybody and what they want to do, but I would, you know, I would hope that everyone, I mean, these are just, they're, they're kids. Um, right, right. Uh, I don't care if they're 18 or 17 or 16, they're yep. still kids and they're, they're giving it all they got. You and, you know, they, and I promise you uh, that he, he puts more pressure on himself than anybody ever will. Uh, from the stands, from the paper, from the whatever. Um, and that's sometimes, you know, it, it leads to his frustrations and his passion might be seen in a little di- di- different way, but that's, that's from his, un- you know, internal pressure to be the best he can for his team right, because right. he, he wants to win. He hates to lose more than he wants to win. And that, then there's a difference there. I mean, he, he hates to lose. Um, and so it's, you know, it's his job to bring everybody else up. And try to be, you know, what he can. But yeah, other, you know, to the victors, you know, and then there's also the spoils. So that, and he's, you know, he's seen both, um, and 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 taking it out on himself, and you know, apologize to his teammates, you know, and the fans and the seniors after that loss to Bixby on Twitter, which showed his maturity, and that was two years ago. So I think he's, I think he's ready to go, and he understands it. But I, you know, I, as as his dad, like you said, I, you know, I have to by my tongue a lot of time and just, you know, tune it all out and focus on what our team is doing. The good yeah. thing is, is you have um, some help with that. Uh, the OSSA is uh, policing that behavior this year where uh, anyone displaying um, bad sportsmanship, misconduct, or anything like that, I believe if you get after two warnings, you'll get dismissed from not only that facility, but uh, banned for the rest of the uh, season itself. So that, that should definitely help that. You, you know, it, you turn into a whole different monster when someone is bad-mouthing your child, this and that. And like right. you said, these are children, and they're giving it their all. They don't deserve all the extra. Um, so um, continue to do a good job supporting them. Um, and you mentioned something about, you know, you're on the visitor side, and you're pacing up and down following the ball. How how are you going to be able to do that uh, next year once he's in college? <laughs> that's a good <laughs> question. I, I, yeah, that's a great question. I probably won't. I'll be probably pretty – uh, but people won't know who I am, and I'll just be quiet. Put a big hoodie on and a hat, and maybe put some sunglasses on or something. But yeah, and you mentioned Sean. You mentioned that uh, new uh, OSSA rule. It, it's it's interesting. I'm going to be, uh, um, and I've talked to a lot of people, you know, both in the media and around. It's going to be interesting to see how they police and enforce that because there's all you know. There's been talks of. I mean, because people could easily you know, plant a person on the side and think that they're yelling for against that team, but they're not. And then some player gets ejected or there's a, you know, 15 yard penalty on the team, but it wasn't really their fan. I mean, it's going to be, and I understand the gist and the, and the spirit of what they need and they do need to do it because I feel sorry for these. The reason why they, you know, one of the main reasons was to get more good referees and have these, you know, like the craziness that happened down in Texas and, you know, um, at that little league football game and all this other stuff and, and, and people just going, uh, uh, stupid on, on referees and other coaches. And, you know, these are, like you said, these are just kids trying to do their best. And I know that, I mean, this is Choctaw America and these refs aren't getting paid, you know, $120,000 in the NFL to call holding against, you know, offensive linemen for, for Patrick Mahomes. You know, they're doing the best they can and doing it for the kids also. Yeah. Ronnie, I got a couple follow-up questions, and we'll let you get off here. But my first question, you know, you kind of RT kind of hit it on the point. Like uh, next year when he goes to Akron, are you planning on moving, or are you going to stay here in Oklahoma? That's my first question. And my second question: Name me a quarterback. I know your son's one of the top quarterbacks in the state of Oklahoma, but name me another quarterback in the state that that you that you look up to and said, "Man, this kid got skill." Because I mean, you know what you got at your house, and mm-hmm. and, and so. Name me another quarterback. And he ain't got to be in 6A. He could be in 4A, 2A, 1A, whatever. But name me another QB out there that you say, hey, man, my kid got – he got game like my kid. Sure. Yeah, to address your first question, no, I'm not um, – I'm – you know, I, I put my professional career on hold for a while. I mean, he's my only son. People know that. You know, they see me flooding social with it all. He's – I'm not, you know, married. I don't have any other kids. I don't – so, I, you know, I used to do a lot – Big business wise, I kind of put that on hold. Now I've resurrected that, so I'm not, I'm not going to move to Akron. I just, I can be anywhere that you know has an airport because I'll damn sure be flying up there every weekend or That's whatever it. else. Uh, so, and I, I, you know, that I've learned one thing about, you know, I didn't, 
really have a dad growing up, but I did learn one thing that through all this stuff that, you know, kids just want you to be, be there, yes, be sir. whatever that is. I mean, good, bad, indifference, just be. So no, I'm not, uh, I could be, end up being anywhere and make sure I have the airport, but, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be around and probably pace him wherever I can at whatever stadium he's playing at. Um, and then your, your second question, there are a lot of good quarterbacks. And like I said, because, um, you know, I, I obviously been around, you know, you know Derek Rasmussen and, and training and, you know, Sooner Seven and Seven on Seven, you know, started. I know that you, you, you had your crew back in the day, but it's really start to, you know, blow up both, you know, and so I think, uh, on the preseason All State team, I think we had seven or eight Sooner Seven kids on the team, which is, is pretty crazy because we're not a whole lot more skill positions on, you know, the rest of them, but, um, there's, you know, there's a bunch of young cats, uh, quarterbacks that are really good and that are going to be sophomores this year. Uh, there's one, David McComb, and it goes to Edmund Memorial. Uh, he's big, tall, strong, right-handed kid. Also, uh, Shaker, uh, up at Union that transferred from Jenkin, Jinx over to Union. And then watch out one that's under the radar is, uh, Bird Franklin. Uh, he was a freshman up at Muskogee last year. But that 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 kid can get it, and he's he's going to be something, really something. Uh, so those those kind of stand out, and, on, and then you know other ones on in six A are, you know Chance Wilson and Kirk Francis. Chance is extremely fast. You know he's a four four quarterback. Um, you know at, the, at those those small private schools up there, and then um, outside. I mean that, that's that's probably a handful that I, I'm most familiar with. You know because I get to see him a lot. Um, and they're going to be doing some pretty good things. So, Ronnie, Ronnie, what's the score going to be uh, Friday night? I think it's going to be uh, one team winning over the other. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got to keep it 100 here. Hey, you got to come with us up. You hey, got to keep it 100, hey, Ronnie. Hey, hey, on, I'm taking uh, – no, I'm taking Choctaw. I'm taking my boys. I'll, I'm, I'm rolling, rolling with them. But I don't – I ain't got a score. But, I, you know, I think that uh, it's going to be fun because, you know, it's – you know, Steel, RJ, the trail, Jacks, you know, that's a lot of offense coming back from last year against a really good defense with, with Foreman in their line and then Nigel and the linebacker. And, you know, that, that's, that's going to be, it's, it's going to be fun to watch. And it's good to get back. I've never, you know, been to a high school game at Del City. I know we played, we played JV there when he was a freshman, you know, the last time that Del City came and played with your boys. But, uh, that, that should be a fun atmosphere. And I, you know, I have a lot of friends over there and parents. So it should be, no, uh, you know, it should be a respectful game and fun. And I think that they're, you know, there's friends. I mean, you know, five, five or six of those boys have stayed the night over at my house before. So, um, during basketball or, or seven on seven or whatever. So it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a great game, man. I yeah. think both coaches are ready to get prepared, man. Uh, uh, it's funny, like I said, I did the Coach Jones show today. Both guys coming under the tree under Coach Rose, both coach at Dell City, both played at Carl Albert. They got a lot of common, you know. Uh, both got good hair. Uh, uh, both got good hair. Uh, both could probably consider themselves some, good, <laughs> some good looking men. But, you know, I'll tell you, it's going to be a good game. Uh, it's going to be a chess match, you know. Uh, you know, yeah. who, 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 who's going to make this play? Like I said, I, I, you know, you know, me doing the Coach Jones show, I'm a little biased to, to, to Dell City because I do that show. But, you know, uh, my kids graduated from Choctaw, and I had a fun time when they was there. Um, I, I, I enjoyed the time they was there. We had a good time. Uh, you know, we wasn't really gold standard yet. We just kind of the yellow jacket sting them. So I'm not really so much all about the gold standard. But I, I just tell you, though, uh, they've done a great job, you know, having E on this staff with us, being a, a, a yellow jacket uh, graduate. So we get to give him a hard time. And having <laughs> RT, being a Carl Auburn, you know. So yep. it, it's fun having all these different, you know, guys on here, me being a bomber. But – you know, I get to talk to hair and all these different schools, man. But I said, man, you you enjoy these last, you know, ten to fourteen games that you get, man. And, and enjoy it, man. I mean, Ronnie, don't don't stress out of nothing because at the end of the day, man, you know, your kid gets to go play college ball and, and yep. enjoy himself, and then and get in the real world. And, and that's what I'm saying with my two boys, man. You know, one's in the real world, one's fighting to you know become the uh, starting one fifty seven pounder at uh, UCO. Uh, hopefully, yes, sir. hopefully before he leaves, he can win a national championship. No, it's gonna uh, happen. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. so I, I understand. I got this little one, man. Um, you know, hopefully she can get a scholarship in basketball. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, Ronnie. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like you, and I tell people all the time, I'm gonna pub my kid, man, because if you don't do it, who's gonna do it? Yeah. And and, yep. and, that, and, that, and that's just the truth, man. I mean, I'm a pub, Zoe. People are probably gonna get tired of seeing her videos, 
but eventually somebody's gonna bite on her and, and want her. So, like I said, I really appreciate you coming on this uh, on, on on the show. Um, uh, is there a couple of games you want to pick real quick before we let you go? Uh, and, and, and is there a game that you that you that you really like this week? Besides the no, I mean game? obviously, no, I mean obviously uh, tomorrow's the big one. You know, the, the Battle of the Burbs up there with Owasso and Bixby. I'm still. I'm still rolling with Bixby. I mean, 6A1, I got, you know, Union, Bixby, and Mustang from this side. Obviously, our 6A2, I got us, Booker T, and Stillwater. And then 5A, I probably have uh, McGinnis, Carl Albert, and uh, McAllister. So you think, uh, Carl, so you think Carl can go up and take that turn fight and, and go up there and beat up on Kawita? After what happened last week, then playing against Sophomore? Do a 7-7 scrimmage? I'm, I'm just saying. I just keep it 100 I here. I, no, I, I I know a couple of the Coweta kids, and obviously uh, the transfer end came from you know PC North quarterback Laverty, and then obviously Mason Ford's a great friend of ours and plays seven on seven with us. So I don't, but I don't, I couldn't speak to their lines or defense or anything other than that. But no, I, I don't, I don't have a pick on that game. Um, but now, I, and I appreciate you guys, E and RT and and, and Tony for you know what y'all do and and having people out there and the, and the, and the kids and, the, and coaches and appreciate you guys having me on. I, I owe you guys, uh, uh, I know there ain't no helmet up there, but I'll, I'll get all three of y'all, uh, a, a man of steel, uh, logo hat. I mean, I'm, wait, I'm waiting to wear, I'm waiting to wear my hat. You know, <laughs> and, 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 I know and, I, I'll tell you I'm this, in, I'll tell you I, this, Ronnie, if Chata wins, if Chata wins, I'll wear that hat on the next show and I'll be the man, man of steel. And I even put on a Superman cape. And do my chest like he does, because that's what I do. We keep it one hundred here, sir. That's well, what then I'm you don't. Do. Then you don't need to take a shower and fix your hair because you're going to have a hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. Hey, Coach Jones is ready. He gotta be ready, man. This is why. This is why. This is why a big game for Coach Jones. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, I mean, this is this is it's rival, man. I mean, this this is why I like Ronnie. I mean, what you like? I like it because I'm telling you right now, everybody used to talk about Mississippi City, Dale City, yeah. Carl Auburn, Mississippi City, and all that. But now Chautauqua's put themselves in the yeah. mix and, hey, because, hey, I never beat Dale City my boys are there. Mm-hmm. You know, my last game I lost in high school to Dale City. We beat them at the early year. My boys never beat Dale City. But I just tell mm-hmm. you right now, man, I mean, Dale City's done some good things. But Chautauqua's put themselves on the map now yeah. that, hey, they're not nobody's homecoming no more. Hey, we're going to come play you. Because, you know, two or three years ago, uh, we lost to Dell City by one. Then my boys' senior year, we lost to Dell City by, by 20 points. Went up on them 14-0. Then after that, all the breaks and everything fell off. But I think it's going to be a great game Friday night. I think everybody's yes, going to be. I think people's not going to have nails. I think it's going to be great. I think both coaches, like I said, it's going to be a chess match. you got a new defensive coordinator going against, you know, uh, the, the Dell City's offense. I mean, they haven't named the quarterback yet. they got two great quarterbacks. But they got two good running backs, so whoever can stop whoever first is going to win the ball game. It might come down to the corn toss. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might yeah, come yeah. down to the corn toss. Who gets hit? No, hey, hey, don't count out our kicker, Tommy. Look out. He's a stud. He, <laughs> so no, yeah, I appreciate it. it's going to be a fun game, and, and they, they have a great team. And I'm, you know, I'll be rooting for them every game the rest of the season. All right. Um, We'll be on the sideline, man. Come get a picture with us, man, and we'll get yeah. you posted on Keep It 100, man. I appreciate you really coming on because I know a lot of people yes, in Chi don't support us, but that's all right, man. I think it might change some things if you come on the show. But like I said, we're not here to dog Chi Top, man. It was great to have you on, man. Your son has worked his tail off to get where he's at, yeah. man. People can hate on it or not, but I'm just telling you right now, when a kid can go, I'm going to give him his credit, and your boy can go. So, man, I mean, have him go take care of business after the Dell City game, and everything will be settled up. Since we give it Sounds good, guys. Yeah, Have a good said, night. I said after the Dell City game. <laughs> hey, uh, Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, since we giving credit, hats off to you as well. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned something that kind of, you know, it kind of hit me because I was in a similar situation. You said you didn't have your dad growing up, but you were able to give still everything that you didn't have, and yes, that's sir. what makes you a winner. So hats off to you, and we appreciate your support. Absolutely. Appreciate that, RT. Y'all have a good night. Thank yeah, you, you, sir. Too. Thank you, thank you. Well, folks, that's, that's Ronnie Wessel. The the, the 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 QB's dad of uh, the QB's dad of the uh, Chata High School. Man of Steel. The man of Steel. Yeah. They likes to do a shirt like this. But yeah. I tell you, man, he's balled out, man, from his freshman yeah. year. You know, getting a little bit of playing time and taking that team his sophomore year to a state championship and, and losing at the last one and second his junior year coming up short in the first round. This is his last go at it. So uh, he got to bring all he got. If not, you know, uh, he, he could be sitting at home and get ready to pack his bags and head off to Akron after uh, the season. But uh, yep. like I said, Ronnie and Jill and Todd has done a great job raising this young man. Uh, just like any parent, man, you want the best from your kid. Uh, win, lose, or draw, man. At the end of the day, you know, uh, there's, there's, and RT has told me 
this media time, there's life after football, and, and he needs yep. to realize that. And that's something I'm trying to stall on my baby girl. She missed a jump shot. You can see that ah, that little ugly look on her face, man. And I'm telling you, you you, you got to get over that. You know, if something don't go right, man, you, you find a way to fix it. But you can't go mad at yourself and beat yourself up. If you do that, it's never going to get there. But uh, real quick, man, I mean, uh, the dad is, I mean, you can see he's a very smart, intelligent man. And mm-hmm. He still is a yeah. real smart guy. Uh, real quick, who y'all going to pick on that game? Well, my official pick on that. Dell City Choctaw game. Yes, sir. You know, uh, I was just like everybody else, kind of questioning that O line. But after hearing what Ronnie has said, and uh, Ronnie, for you, know, you bullshit yeah, on that. I don't, I don't think so. I, Ronnie knows his stuff. We've had conversations, but Ronnie, Ronnie, yeah. for you BS on that. His boy's a quarterback. He know he can nah. be running for his life. Love you, Ronnie, but we keep it real here. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, know that line is broke like uh, uh, uh like a, like a broke Campbell. I'm telling you right now. No, but you can't, uh, you can't fix that line in a week, e, unless you have some kids. I don't know. In. I've heard good things about this uh, this uh, this old line coach that I moved in. I mean, even before today's e, conversation, I've had I've heard e, good e, things. He'll have those kids ready next year, maybe no. by the end of the season. But I don't know if he can fix it in one week. Not I think that, he can. Not, not so, with that smoke that Del I got the I got the Choctaw Yellow Jackets beating Dell City in the own house. Put that helmet on, e. and, Put it on for old time's sake. <laughs> Put it on, e. I don't think I will. Put it on for old time's sake. Coach Corbin gonna love. He might let you suit up this weekend. Oh man! Uh, there you I mean, go. They got bro. everybody else trained. There he is. There he is. There, there, there you go. Uh oh. Got the gold standard on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They're gonna come in there. They're gonna okay. steam them eagles. Yeah. Steam them, huh? Yes, sir. Coach, okay. Co- hey, Coach Jones, don't take that. Knock mm-hmm. everybody out next week. <laughs> this coming Friday night. I no. can't call it. I, I honestly can. I mean, you're pretty close to the program with having good conversations with Coach Jones. Y'all check that show out weekly. And then in addition to that, your boys playing over there at uh, Choctaw and being very familiar with that. It sounds like uh, one is stronger on one side yep, and the yep. other. It's um, a they say, they say defense wins championships, but I don't think it's going to come up. Uh, it's not going to be about the offense or defense. I think it's going to be special teams. You know, I, he said something special. They do got a kicker. I don't, I don't know. But uh, if Dale City's kicker is coming back, he was a good kicker too. So uh, we kind of went over the players. He got, man, it's just – I'm telling you, man, it, it's a it's – a, Hey, we're going to be at the game. Yeah, so yeah. all your fans, yeah. come check us out. Hey, hey, we had the cameras out there. We're going to have a good time. Absolutely. Hey, hey, it's something we're going to look forward to, man. And we are still going to do the scotch. I know I've talked about it. But one thing uh, HR kind of mentioned last night, she was start doing T-shirts and throwing them out, passing them out. Uh, we try get to get some Keep it 100 out. swag. Keep it some, yeah. Keep it 100 swag. But I, I, I tell you, though, man, uh, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go what I've been going with, man. I think Dell City will pull it off. I think uh, uh, still, uh, I think he'll have a hell of a game. But I think he'll. He'll 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 have a pick six and 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 then uh, that might be the difference of the game. I think Dell City's running game is. I mean, don't get me wrong because they got they got Latrell and Juju, but those backs are kind of small. And when you bring in a kid like Tango, six two two twenty five, mm. uh, I mean, it's going to wear down. It's going to wear down. I mean, I know you got RJ playing both sides of the ball, but man, fourth quarter, if you ain't in, in, in great condition, man, it, it, it can eat you up. Most kids get cramps, and I mean, a lot of teams like both teams got a lot of kids going both ways. So it's going to really come down to. Who's in better condition? And then I think that uh, uh, Coach Corbin, man, he's a man of tricks, man. I mean, I know you can talk about still what he does, but Coach Corbin, man, he'll pull some plays out. You be scratch your head like, what in the hell? But it works, though. So, um, but folks, uh, we, we, we ain't done. We, we yeah. just get this show hot because we got Mason Ford from Kawita coming on the show with uh, Mr. Dobbins, Quick Feet himself. And then uh, we'll chop it up with those guys, and then we'll, we'll kind of go from there after one of our what? After one of our sponsors. Keep it one what? 100 <laughs> Oklahoma High, High School, School Sports. Sports. Right, right back. back. With 25 years' experience in the industry, Linex Customs OKC is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle accessory needs. Specializing in spray-in liners, lifts, levels, wheels, tires, bed covers, and anything else you need to make your ride look and sound better. Call Eric and the boys at 405-778-8878. Welcome back to Keep It 100 Oklahoma High School Sports on this Wednesday night. Straight out of Tulsa, we got Mr. Dobbs and Mr. Mason Ford. I'll tell you right now, we got two amazing men that's living up there in Tulsa in that 918 that's doing big things. I know Mason's is his senior year, and Dobbins is one of the best trainers on this side of the state of yes, Oklahoma. Uh, I just tell you guys, I, bo- I I thank you both for coming on the show. Uh, what's going on, fellas? Well, Sam, uh, not a whole lot, man. I'll, I'll pop it off. Uh, just hanging out, really. I'm playing a little bit of Madden. You got the new Madden now. So, man. Yeah. So, 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 so who's your team? Who's your team? 
right now I've been riding with San Francisco right there now. There you go. <laughs> bang, bang. Nah, you got to ride, yeah, ca- ride with them the Cowboys. Net. You got to ride with them Cowboys. Nah. I got my towel up. Yeah. You see my towel? I got yeah. my towel up. You watch the show, you see my towel in the back. Look, what about them Cowboys? Looks like they're about to go 7 and 10. Hey, look, I tell you this, Tony, that's my only loss yeah. online right now, playing yeah. with those guys. See, I, I ain't got I ain't got the chance <laughs> to play it yet, man. Use my Man, I used to be pretty good. And I started playing my boy Gabe, man, and he started to embarrass me, so I quit playing, man. I've been playing role. I've been playing fighting games now, man. I don't know nothing about no Call of Duty or Ball of Duty, none of that kind Tony, of stuff, man. Tony was used to that Atari. Man, I, I mean, I had that little stick. It's cold, man, bloody. Man, yeah. man. So, hey, Mason, I, I, I got to get with you real quick, Mason. I know you got a good guy over there with you right now, Mr. Definitely. Dobbins, and man, yes, and, and I know he's, I mean, I remember when you was in, uh, I think we was over at Perkins working out, man, and my boys came over to Dobbins, man, and I seen you at a young 7th and 8th grade, and I said, this boy going to be special. I did. That's the first thing I said. I even told Dobbins, I said, this boy going to be special. But now you're in your senior year, mm-hmm. and, and, and what's it like, Mason? I mean, this is it, baby. This is the last journey, the last 12, 14 games, if you make it to the championship. what, what What's it like? What, what's it been like? Man, all I can say is that it flies by. I I remember when I was just starting junior high. <laughs> now I'm a senior. It, I'm, this is blown by so fast. And I don't even know what to say. Like, it's crazy. I, I, I will tell you this, though, and I know these two guys sitting next to me will tell you the same thing. Man, enjoy this senior year, yes. man, because it goes by so quick. And I, and I tell you now, I sit back and every now and, I, every now and then as an old man, as a pop, I might grab the, the video and we'll watch one of my boys' game and see what they did special when they were playing, man, and, you know, uh, one of them's in the real world. He got a job at Tinker. My other one's wrestling in college. Uh, so he's still doing that college thing. But I just tell you, you know, next year you'll go off to college. Uh, I know you're still going to be training with Dobbins. You know, wherever you go, you're going to come in town. And mm-hmm. if you stay in town, you're going to get that work mm-hmm. in. I just tell you, man, he's one of the best around. And that's why we kind of wanted you both on the show. Because, one, you're going to play his team this week. And, and, and this yeah, week, this Friday, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he going to play them Carl <laughs> Albert Titans and they find a way to win. Oh, but, roll and, uh, here we go. But that's why. Oh, that's what we're we gonna be on the wrong side. Yeah, tell him, Mace. Hey, 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 Mace. On the I, wrong I, side. I, it's good stuff, man. Because I mean, you know, there was a video sent out the other day, and and, and it, uh, it was one of the. Hey, 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 Mace. <laughs> hey, Mace. Hey, Mace. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. Oh. Hey, 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 Dob is gonna like this one because when we get off the phone with you, we're gonna drop something pretty hot, and you're gonna like it. But you got to keep retweeting it and getting it hot out there because I, I, I'm telling you, it's gonna be funky. It's gonna be funky, <laughs> funky because uh. Uh, we, we, we put something together for you though, because, you know, they, they, they want the smoke. I, I, I like the smoke, so we're gonna bring the smoke. But I, I, I tell you this though, Mace, uh, you know, like I said, going into your last year, uh, you know, what, what, what do you have set? What kind of goals have you set for yourself? Um, well, my main goal is, I didn't get to accomplish it last year. I think I said it on the show last year, but, uh, I want to win state, of course. I want that ring. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I also want to, uh, break the last couple of goals that Kawita got. I think I'll be the first person ever uh, to score 50 touchdowns here. Right. If I I need six more. Oh, you gonna get, you might get that Friday night. <laughs> well, <it's true>. hey. <laughs> you might get that Friday night. Two picks, two returns, and two TDs in the air. Hey, uh, I, I, need to check, see what you're sipping over there in the cup, man. <laughs> 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 that, that's big stuff. So, Mason, what kind of team you got coming back? I know you lost to these boys last year in the quarterfinals, man. It was your last game as a junior, but now you get to redeem yourself. They coming to your house this Friday night. They got to get on that turnpike, you know, and, and hope they got a toll pass, but they ain't got to pay no fees. But I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> but they coming to your house this Friday night. What do you guys got in store for these guys? So, you said, what do we got in store? Yeah, uh, yeah. We which, probably- which- well, we were we return. I want to say nine on defense. So we, thought, we held them for to fourteen. I think that might be the lowest that they scored all year last year. Man. So like, and then offense, we lost pretty much our quarterback, but we got a new move in. Yeah, he came PC from PC North. North. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we we know everything, mate. We keep it one hundred over here. <laughs> <laughs> he looking real nice. Saw him the first time in a game last week, but. We, we got a lot of store, especially after that video. I had to, I had to put in some place for oh, that one. Ready? Because I need yeah. some. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, Mason, I didn't see the video. What's the video about? 
Man, I don't even got to talk, man. <laughs> hey, 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 Mason, hey, Mason, you got to talk, man. We keep it 100 here, man. I mean, hey, the, mate, that's, uh, that should be your you know fire. I, even though it's hot outside, that should make you want to go start a fire outside because I'm oh, telling you right now, man, he he, he, he kind of put you on the map, man. He kind of drug you down the field and kind of talked bad about you, man. I wouldn't yeah. take that, man. That's why I had to call you, Mason. I was like, hey. I don't know old boy that well. I don't, I don't, I mean, my daughter goes to Carl Albert. Uh, you know, middle school, but I don't know a lot of the high school. I knew RT son. I know the quarterback, the crazy. But man, he he, he can't do that to you, Mace. He he got he tried to put you on blast street right there. Do y'all agree, fellas? But, yeah. But what people yeah. don't know is that I had videos that I could have posted right back. But I didn't want to. I don't do that to him. Like I I'll just show him on Friday. Yeah. Woo! I'll be on yeah. Friday. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey hey hey, 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 Mace, hey, Mace. Uh, RT's favorite line. He said it. What said it late? But what? Got it straight. Got it straight. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's all in fun. You know, I, I do know Tayshawn, been around him for a while. He's a good kid. He's definitely an athlete. Um, I, I, I love the good sportsmanship between the two. And 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 what you're saying is right. You're not going to talk about it. You're going to be about it on the field. So we can't wait to see the highlights, can't wait to uh, hear what happens. I hope that both teams uh, really go after it and everyone come out uh, healthy and uh, it'll prepare you for uh, when the games count in a couple of weeks in district and – Man, I would love to see both of y'all in the uh, the championship. Yeah, absolutely. That would be. So, so uh, Darvis, okay. what, what you what you gonna do on Friday night? You gonna have shirt half, Carl Albert half, Quita? What you gonna do? Uh-oh. He's gonna, he gonna be on the Carl Albert side. No, yeah, I already let the Fords know I'm on Carl Albert. <laughs> 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 hey, he's gonna be walking over halfway through the game. Okay, so, so Kawita side. Yeah, I, just, I was gonna check on your feelings, make sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this right. business, nothing personal. Uh, nothing personal. So, dogs, man, what, how, how's business been going? Going? I mean, I know you guys got some great athletes. Uh, I know they got the show going out there. Nine one eight, man. I like to get those guys some love, man. They're doing a big thing with the with the guys out there and and, and, the, and the people they're putting on the show, man. And uh, as much love for us over here, keep it one hundred to those guys, man. Because I I just tell you, when you can get these kids' names out there and tell them some of the stories, I know he had Prince Elliott on the other day, and a guy that was an All American, could have been an All American at Oklahoma State, uh, did some 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 crazy things, but he he reached out and told kids not the things to do. And I know you a big role model to a lot of these kids, man. I know uh, you was a big role model to my boys, man, because I got on that turnpike and drove and came and saw you. So you know what, what's it like now? You got a new group of guys you training. Uh, I watched some of your videos the other day, and look like you had some old men out there that's trying to get ready for the CFL and NFL. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, man, th- things have been great. It was a great summer, a uh, long summer. You know, we were out there in the, in the heat. It seemed like this is the hottest summer of the year uh, since to since to be noted, but it, it was all good. It's much needed. Um, but like I said, great summer. Got a lot of great work in. Um, guys like Mason, you know, they were – I didn't get to see him as much this summer, but he was he was on the camp circuit you know, getting out and showcasing the skill sets that we've been working on since he was in the seventh, eighth grade, uh, earning our scholarship offers. He, he's done a great job. I can't wait to see his senior season. Uh, he's going to be awesome. He's going to break all type of records uh, at Coweta. Um, it won't be this week. It's okay, though. You know, he's our <laughs> next week. This week zero. Anyway. So no hard feelings. But, but no, man, yeah, it's, it's been great. Um, new crop of kids every year. Uh, seeing the younger kids grow up and then get to see guys like Mason going to that, that final year, man. It's, it's, I'm happy and sad at the same time because, yes, you know, sir. those kids are growing up and that's the biggest part of it. Uh, him and his family have allowed me to come into their lives and, uh, it's, it's been great. It, it really has. And, and that's, that's the biggest thing I get out of it, just the relationships that I'm able to build mm-hmm. through this great game in football. So that, that's good stuff, though. Like Mason, I mean, like I said, you've had a great trainer, man. You know, uh, I've had the, the, the privilege of working with Dobbins and uh, Clay Mack, and both of those guys bring outstanding stuff to, to, to the table and teaching these young men. Just watching those drills the other day, man, just kind of got me uh, to the point that I remember, you know, like I said, my boy's doing it, man, and, and he helped my son a lot. He was an undersized corner, but, you know, going to Dobbins and, and watching him, you know, we went over to Cassidy and, uh, and did the camp with him, man, just watching – my son grow. Not only did it help him in football, it also helped him in wrestling too. Just having those quick feet and you know move and be you know be vir- I mean Virgil did he? I mean he can do some stuff on the edge of the mat that some kids can't do because they they, they don't have the footwork. And uh, like I said, I probably end up sending my daughter with him. You know we we probably she'll probably start coming to see him too just because of basketball, man. I mean just the any way you can make yourself better, you got to go see the people that can that, that make you better. And I know he care. It's not about the dollar with him. It's about getting you better and. and you can see that with the, you know what he's done with you and, and some of the other kids. But Mace, I gotta ask you though, uh, I got two other guys over here too, and 
I like to do all the talking, but I'm gonna let them jump in and and ask you a couple of questions too. All right. So, uh, Mason, this is RT again. Um, in your senior year, outside of the you know the obvious of winning you know state championship and uh, setting your own mark there, um, what do you want to be remembered most for leaving uh, Coweta? So, when anyone think of you or what kind of player you are, you know what I'm saying, even outside or off the football field, how, how would you like to be remembered? Uh, I really just want to be remembered as, like, a, a good person, like, that, like, I was never mean to nobody or everybody that went to Coweta or remember me from Coweta is that I was always nice to them or helped them when they needed it. And just really being a leader, like, in sports and out of sports, just setting the right example. That's good because that that would take you longer than – uh further than uh, in sports will anytime. Um, that character, um, having good in, uh, integrity, good work ethic, that definitely take you uh, take you far. And uh, Dobbins, real quick, for you, uh, you know, with your experience at Carl Albert, Tulsa, and Sooner 7 on 7 in training, um, you mentioned the relationships. Once these kids move on or go on to college, do, how often do they come back and touch base with you to kind of get fine tuned or just check in with you? Yeah, all, all the time. I mean, we, we talk with the the talks uh, through whether it's FaceTimes on the phone, the text messages. That almost never stops. Again, we're, we're like family now. We really That's are. Those good. guys are with others to me, so that never ends. And when those guys have time uh, to come back and visit family and relax, we we definitely make sure that we we take some visits to the field and kind of brush up on they, – they're able to show me what they've learned uh, from their respected okay. colleges, their programs. And um, we go in and see, oh, this is what I want to work on, Dwight. This is what I want to be better at. This is what my coach expects of me. And then we go in and we attack those those uh, those weaknesses and build those strengths. Gotcha. Um, one more thing. Uh, I'm not sure if, if, if you knew or were aware, but uh, since uh, Coach Mike Dunn is over there at Carl Albert, he created uh, – it's kind of like um, – a hallway of Hall of Fame or the guys that went yeah. on to play at the next level. I'm not sure if they reached out to you, if you were aware I haven't been there in a minute or down that hallway to get your picture put up there. It, it will be nice to see you uh, in that hallway with everyone else. Were you aware of any of that? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, and me and Coach Dunn have talked uh, several different times. Now, I haven't been inside the building to be able to see everything, okay. uh, but I know it's in due time and, and I was really excited when they did announce that. And I love that they have a Twitter. You know, you're able to follow everything that they're right, doing right uh, now. Got some cool little things that we never had. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's really cool just to see the the school, the program, uh, kind of adjust to the times. You know, trying to keep up right. with the Jones. Really cool. So, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to get my picture up there. Okay. Yeah. So for uh, for Mason, you know, um, going into your senior year. Uh, you know, we already talked about some of the personal goals that you had this year, but uh, what are some goals for, you know, for the team? Obviously, everybody wants to win that state championship, but uh, what else do y'all uh, want to accomplish this year? Really, um, we want to focus on really, we do a lot of team bonding. We need to get closer as a team and keep working hard every day and just getting better every day at practice and obviously reaching that end goal it starts at the beginning of the week every day. So we really just need to, you know, stick together and get everything right so we can do what we really want at the end. Yeah, absolutely. And then also uh, just the past few weeks over the summer, uh, we saw your recruitment pick up. You picked up quite a few uh, Division II offers. Um, so, you know, talk about some of those schools that are talking to you and do you have any uh, D1s that are tapped in with you yet? Well, I do. I got that one Division One FCS offer. Oh yeah, from that's right. Drake University. Yep. Um, really, other than that, only the ones that have really reached out the past couple of weeks is Navy. That's really about it. I mean, I have some coaches like send me some uh, videos of their film, like of practice and how much fun they're having. So, like, got like Tulsa reached out to me and sent me a couple of videos of that and a couple other schools. But other than that, Division One, not really. Do you, do you have a school that you want to go to that, you know, if it's the Division Two, you know, uh, as a father, you know, you everybody wants their kid to go D1, and obviously say that, and, and, and he's a he's a proven factor that uh, other sized guys can go play Division One. You know, my son wasn't very big, and 
I really wanted him to play. Uh, I wanted him to go play college ball. Uh, but, I, you know, at the end of the day, as a dad, you know, he's going to get his education. Mm-hmm. And that's the most important thing. But I, I will say, you know, Mason, I mean, you're a hell of an athlete and um, on both sides of the ball. And, and are you going to run the ball in Because I know in the Vibe magazine, they got you listed as a running back. So are you going to tote, uh, tote the rock uh, a little bit too? Uh, yeah, my coach, we have different sets. Some sets I play running back, but most of the sets we, we, I'm really at receiver, but my coach always likes to give me the ball, however, in whatever way possible. So I'll definitely get some spots at running back and get to run the ball this year. Like I said, at 16, like I said, you want to break the, uh, Kawita record, I think there's a good chance you can come close to doing that, uh, Friday night. I I predict you at least to have three touchdowns, man, a a kickoff return, a pump return, and, uh, uh, I tell you, when you're on this show, everybody wants to call call you. But I, uh, I, I think you can at least get three uh, come uh, Friday night, and then uh, you're gonna get three uh, Friday. Uh, give them three. Okay, come on, Tony. Tony, man, what are these guys you on? Hey, 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 hey Dobbins, I'm gonna keep it 100. Hey, I'm gonna keep it 100. I, I, I was a bomber, you know what I'm saying? I mean, my daughter graduated. Uh, from that. that explains. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, my daughter. But you know, back in the day, back in the '90s, man, Carl Albert was like a. It was kind of like JV for us, man. You know, we didn't even, you know, the Ooh, best thing that, the best 90s. thing, let me, let me tell you something. Ooh, the best thing, totally the best it. thing Carl Arbor had back then was at Brahms. That's it. You, I don't even think y'all had the Sonic yet. So, and, and you still eat hey, there, ain't you? Hey, you know, hey, hey, you, you see how I brought up food because I love to eat, dog. I love to eat. I ain't going to miss a meal. But I, I'm, I'm just saying, but, but Carl Arbor's done some big things, though, man. I mean, my boys are there, but uh, with Gabe being a hell of a wrestler, I had to, I had to make that move. Uh, you know, I got ties to Carl Albert, like I said, you know, his uncle, my, you know, my daughter graduated there. She's all state cheerleader. She's a track star. Uh, you know, so, I mean, I got I, I, my, my daughter, my little one's there right now. She's loving it, you know, and it, it, really, it really depends on what, what that basketball program say like before uh, I make that move. You know, and, and it's like now, Dobbins, you know as good as I do, and so does Mason. Kids are moving. Look, I mean, he had a kid that was at Police Seat North. He moved all the way to Quita, man. That's And that ain't like, yeah, it's a, that's not like it's a 20-minute drive. He, he packed up and moved to the other side of the state. <laughs> so that's just keeping it 100. <laughs> but you got to do what's best for your kid, and there I respect go. that as a father. You yep. got to do what's best for you your kid, to. man, you know, because at yes, the end sir. of the day, no, ain't, no, ain't nobody looking out for him but you. You know what I'm saying? So, because you know these coaches, right. they'll, tell you, they'll tell you everything. They'll promise you everything. Man. But when the time is over, they're like. When they don't need you, they'll they pack your shit up for you. Oh, man. Yeah, so man, like I said, I, I, I tell you guys, man, I mean, I wanted to have you both on. I thought that video was kind of, uh, you know, it was kind of hype, but I think uh, we, I think once we get off the show and we drop Mason's little video, I think he's going to like it. And I want him to have everybody on Quita, everybody in the town of Quita, retweet it and, and get it hype. Let's try to get yeah. some views out of this because uh, this is a little shout out back to, you know, to me, to you, because, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, a uh, good player shouldn't be called out. I mean, everybody make a good play. Like Mason said, I could have done the same thing, but, you know, I'm going to leave it and do my talking on the field. And mm-hmm. that's why I said Dobbins, he's going to have three. And uh, Dobbins, I'm being nice because he probably have four. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll tell you what. He, now, again, he can get off, but we, we still going to win that game. Right? Uh, <laughs> we still going to win the game. Uh, that's what they said. That's what they said about uh, Michael Jordan. He was crossed up with somebody. Somebody by a guy. By the name of AI, AI. still thirty five and one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. stuff. But guys, like I said, I, I wish you both luck, man. I gl- I'm glad you guys came on the show, me and Mason. Uh, good luck to you this season, man. I'm a big fan of you. Like I said, I've been a big yeah. fan of you since you was in seventh, eighth grade. When we was out at Perkins working out, and I, like I told myself and even Dobbins, man, you're gonna be something special. And I think this senior year, uh, I know you might not got the D one offer you got yet, but I'm telling you, you keep balling out. Uh, it's, I mean, my, my, I've always heard. Good things happen to people that wait, and, and like I said, yours is gonna come. Christmas Definitely. might come early for you, so yes, just keep doing your thing, man, and you and you'll see yes, what's gonna happen. Okay? I want I want to piggyback on yes, that. Um, uh, just focus on controlling the controllable, man, yes, and enjoy this year. Have fun. Don't worry about any of the offers. It'll take care of itself. No matter where you're at, you continue to have that same work ethic, good character, and in life itself, you're you're gonna be someone great. Um, you know, a lot of guys want to play D one and. And things have changed so much with the whole COVID year and the transfer portal. It made things so difficult. These D1 coaches, they first go to the portal first, and then after that, yes. they're looking at the, they're looking at uh, JUCO or or they are looking yes. at Division Two. Because now, you tell your coach you're ready to transfer, they got 48 hours to put you in the portal, and you don't have to sit out anymore. So it made things right. challenging for the guys that are coming out of high school 
But if you take care of your grades and you stay healthy, stay out of trouble, you never know what opportunity is going to come your way. So, again, control the controllable. You're a good young man. Continue to ball out, and we wish you the best of luck. I appreciate and, that. And I want to touch on it, too, man. And like you said, he's they tell you all the right things, Mason. And Mason was being modest. He, he does have a few different Division One schools after him. Again, they just have not pulled the trigger just yet. Yes, but I, I think I still think something to come of this. He's going to have a crazy year. He's going to tear up the circuit like he always has. And I've always told everybody that I've, I've ever talked about with Mason, and I've, I've got to work with the Dax Hills of the world, the Trey Browns, and, and guys of that nature, that stature. And, and, and Mason is, 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 is top three. He's up there with all those guys, right? Those are probably my top three guys ever to work with. And, and Mason is right there with those guys. And they all have one thing in common. It's not the size or the strength or whatever, but they got their dog in them. Mm. And they're always focused, and they, they keep the main thing the main thing. And, and Mason, you've always done that. And and we always talk about it. We don't we don't let, again, things that we cannot control uh, run, our, run our mind, dictate our attitudes and things of that nature. So continue to do what you're doing. You're going to have a great season. Uh, ladies, death. Yes, sir. What's up? Yeah. Robbins, Mason, I appreciate you guys coming on, man. Uh, good luck to both of you guys this this year. Mason, like he, like Robbins just said, go ball out, control what you control, and and, and, and like I said, I mean, the good Lord's gonna take care of good people. So you just keep doing your thing. Thank mom and dad for being there for you, man. Because some kids are not blessed like you are to have you know great parents, and I think it and having a good role model like Robbins helps a lot. So yep. uh, like I said, I appreciate you guys coming on. Keep it one hundred. Uh, like I said, I mean, give us a like, a tweet, tell people about us, man. We're just trying to, we're just trying to do a little thing in this basement, man. We're just trying to grow every year, and and and, and we are. And like I said, like I said, I mean, it's no hate to those guys out there. Nine one eight, I'm just saying they doing big things too. So, like I said, Mason, go ball out Friday night, and we're about to drop yes, this clip. Sir. here. Hey, remember, we're about to drop this clip here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tony, real quick, man, before we get over here, if we keep it in a hundred, right, like we do on the show, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. 3517 call out. That's all I got. Hey, hey, you know, hey, 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 dog, hey, dog, that's the same thing I picked on that Dell City, uh, Dell City, uh, Tata game. I picked 3517, Dell City, go, uh, Dell City, yeah, yeah, ain't gonna happen. I mean, he's a, he's a graduate, he's a, he's a, he's a wannabe bomber B, whatever you call him over there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, but I, I mean, don't get me started on your bombers though. Hey, when was the last time they done? Uh-oh. When was the last time they did that? Hey, 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 the yeah, hey, I ain't heard nothing of them. What city? Hey, hey, cool hey, minute. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. They, they, hey, they, you know, they, they just sleep. They, they, they sleeping. I mean, don't wake them up because they're gonna, they're gonna come bite you. Oh, okay. they gonna, they're sleeping they're gonna... pretty hard. They ain't getting woken up anytime Ooh, soon. He so. said they in a coma. <laughs> Y'all leave my bombers alone. Where my bombers at? Yeah, where my bombers at? Who, who? <laughs> well, guys, we appreciate you coming on, though. All right. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Be good. Be blessed. Folks, that's uh, Mason and Davis, man. I mean, Davis is one of the best DB coaches. I mean, click clinic guys here in Oklahoma. If you're looking for your young man, mm-hmm. uh, even young lady, to get some good work, man, go see Davis. I know he's out of Tulsa, but he'll meet you on that turnpike. He'll meet you up there in uh, Stroud, Oklahoma, man. You know what I liked about uh, it? Yeah, what's that? It, it just It's just not about the, the, the sport itself and the training. It's the relationships that he's building. Yeah, yes. Most And, and a lot and nothing, no knock against, the you know, the high school coaches. But they're out there coaching 80 to 100 kids. They can't give them that one-on-one fine-tuning because it's just not enough time, right? right? It's not enough time. So when you get someone that is passionate as he is and really cares about you to have a relationship after he's done training you, that's what it's about right there. That's what it's about. But, folks, man, I know this show is kind of going and keep going. Uh, week zero is going to be nice. Man, when you got uh, good stuff to talk about, uh, we're hey, going to talk all night, hey, Tony. I, I love it. Sure. I, know, I know he got he to gotta go, he gotta go, get that, he gotta go get some of that holy water, though. You yeah. Know, <laughs> get it to him, though. But I, I just tell you, though, man, it, it's, it's a great show, man. I think uh, people's going to like it. I mean, I know we had some tip. Typical, difficult uh, here tonight. Uh, you might see our face, you might not. Uh, we're gonna see what he can put together. Uh, uh, one of the, the phone system, you know, iPhone. You know, when you get that thirteen, they and the fourteen comes out. The thirteen messes up. But so, you know what? Uh, it's no different than listening to the radio. So we yeah, going live. Let's yeah, get yeah, it. That, that, that's it, man. I mean, that's thing about it, though, man. I mean, we're gonna come back next week. Uh, we'll have some, you know, uh, you know we'll, be, we'll be talking about really week one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Zero guys, a bunch of good games in it. But mm-hmm. I, I said. Uh, uh, is this football season, man? Yeah. I mean, we could talk all day long, man. When you have a fun, you don't want to leave. And, nah. and, and I'm telling you right now, I'm having a blast. My phone is blowing up. I got people text messaging me, emailing me, driving everything. But they know the show's hot. 
So make sure you catch it this Friday morning at what time? 9.30 in the morning, Friday morning. I mean, you'll be that's the time that we're going to try to have the video up every single week, right. 9.30 uh, Friday morning, so that, you know, on your drive to school, drive to work, whatever, you can turn on some Kiva 100 and start your day off with there some uh, Oklahoma high school football right. and, uh, you know, Get, get pumped up for yeah. Friday night when Friday the lights night, come on man, Every, night and night. the pads get popping. So. Yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. it's all about. But good luck to all the teams this weekend. Uh, this coming up Friday night and get luck to the teams that are scrimmaging tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I know uh, some people not playing week zero. Some are, but I just tell you, everybody try to stay healthy, try to stay safe, drink plenty of fluids, don't cramp up. Uh, parents, respect the rest, respect the other people around you. Don't talk about Absolutely. nobody's kid. You don't want nobody talking about your kid. So uh, remember, if you haven't seen that OSA rule, we might put it up on our screen for you yeah. to look at it. But, man, please be respectful. Only person who can talk crazy out there is me because I keep it 100. So <laughs> we'll see you next time on what? Keep it 100, Oklahoma High, High School, School Sports. Sports. See, see ya. ya.